Hi my amazing planner people, it's Jess for my magical planner and today I'm going to be doing my weekly spread for the week of February 7th through the 13th in my Harriet Wright Designs planner which is a 7x9 or A5 wide planner similar to an Erin Condren only it's completely blank, no dates, no nothing so I can do whatever I want with it. So this week I'm going to be using this kit from The Giving Girl called Midnight which I think is amazing. It has so many good messages kind of in it. We have love letter to myself, be the woman you needed as a girl, and just the artwork is stunning. And then these are your layering things and your checklist and that kind of stuff. And then I actually have two of these um, functional pages because there was some kind of mix up when I ordered it and I think it like maybe it was the, the top and the bottom were supposed to be a different color or something like that and so she just included them as a bonus for anybody who ordered them that weekend. So I have two of those. This is the last page of the kit with your Monday through Sundays. You have some dividers, some scalloped boxes and of course your washi and I believe these are flags. Yes, flags through there. And then in addition to that, I did get her bow sampler box that went with this kit. And I have two of her midnight decos. And I'm definitely going to be using these date dots. These came in her advent box this year. So if you missed that, I'm going to go ahead and link it up above. And I've also pulled out a variety of other things, including this... Um, Happy Planner sticker book. I think I'm going to add in Cinderella. She feels like she might go perfect with a kit called Midnight. The colors look like they might go. So I'm thinking I'm going to pull in one of these. Besides that, I have my normal White Deer Stationery, Joy of Planning, and Crafts by Towie kind of icons and things pulled out. And I'm probably going to be pulling in some of these florals, I'm thinking, for little odds and ends, especially up at the top, because it'll just give me a little bit more to play with. These are from Letters to Apollo. She has a whole series of different florals, and I think they're amazing. So other than that, I'll try and tell you in the voiceover what we're using at what time. If you guys have any questions about any of the stickers, though, feel free to leave me a message down below or message me on Instagram, whatever works for you. I'm at my magical planner on Instagram. And I'd love for you to come follow me. I try to post some different content up there than I do on the channel. Some of it's the same, but some of it is very different. So anyhow, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the spread and I'll meet you in the voiceover. So it has been a hot minute since I recorded this. I'm going to do my best to tell you what stickers I use though. And if I miss one, let me know and I'll look it up because I have all of them. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm going ahead and putting down my day headers here. I love the script that she uses for these or the font. It just looks so pretty and elegant, yet it's easy to read, which is really nice because it's kind of it can sometimes, when they get too scripty, it can be hard to read them, but these are pretty nice. After I put them down, I'm going ahead and putting those date dots that I showed you down. I also really love these date dots. Her date dots are, I don't know, I feel like you get more out of them. I don't know why. I don't know if there actually are more on the page. There might be. <laughs> Anyhow, I digress. <laughs> so these little dividers are from Olive Planner Co. And I believe she has shut down. If she's still open, I'll have a link for her down below. I've gotten a couple of things from her and the quality was amazing. So I really, really loved these. And I thought it gave it that nice finish touched below. Now I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do above, which of course I can't decide right away. So I went ahead and put down this box because I knew I wanted to put my month in there. And I thought it kind of made it cohesive across the top and I'm using a script from Harriet Wright Designs to put my February in there. Now I'm going to go back and put down full boxes. This box was really really pretty. I It says be the woman you needed as a girl which is so huge. I mean it's a it's a very strong statement especially for anybody who had a maybe less than ideal childhood. But I love all of the artwork in this kit, and I think it's absolutely stunning. 
this kit is still in her shop, I'm pretty sure. She she just had her four year, I think this last week. I didn't actually get anything, but she's got some cute new kits. So anyhow, I go ahead and put all my boxes down. I made a V kind of. I tend to do this quite a bit because I want to give myself room at the bottom to put in my washi and I like having them kind of spread out because it draws your eye across the page a little bit in a unique way, but I, I need to switch it up and try some different things and see how I like them. Below the, um, the box there, I did put in a habit tracker, and then at the bottom, I'm putting in that Monday through Sunday checklist with an additional box above. This is going to be my menu for the week, so I went ahead and pulled out the script from... I think that's from Familiant Paper Co. And then I'm going to cut off a little bit of floral, just a corner, because I want to have a little bit of color underneath the icon that I'm going to use to symbolize my dinners. I pulled all of these off of my, all the ones on the sheet there that are on the side, all came out of my extras book, and I just had pulled them out in advance of ones I might use. In the end, I ended up using that icon from Craft Side Towie. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my bottom washi down. It's interesting, like her washi doesn't, like usually you have that smaller strip and a longer strip because of the sidebar. She doesn't do that. She just has one uniform size, which in some ways is kind of nice because it makes the kit more versatile. So you can use it with different types of planners. Now I'm going to go in and I had these trims from Sadie stickers and I put one on the top and then after looking at it, I thought it would look even better if I put one on the bottom as well. So I went ahead and did that and I I love the way it came out. It just, it really draws your eye to that washi and really makes it look even more beautiful, I think. So I went ahead and trimmed that down. And then of course here is Cinderella that I'm gonna place in. She's from the Happy Planner and I think it was the line drawing book some really cute princesses in there and I thought the tones of her blue really matched this kit. Now I'm going to go through and I had a variety of different little floral elements that were foiled that I decided to do at the top and I think most of them are from Sadie stickers. All oh, right okay so the clusters are from Harriet Wright Design, the branches are Sadie stickers, the flowers are let letters to Apollo. <laughs> so quite the variety there and I've been kind of playing around with this just trying to figure out what I can do at the top of my headers because the space is so limited that a lot of things just don't work up there in this particular planner. I'm not sure if that's something I'm going to want to change for next year because I do like the idea of the floral deco at the top but at the same time having that space to plan is also important to me so I don't know. I have to figure that one out. Maybe I just need to write smaller. <laughs> Anyhow, I thought it came together really nicely and it was a, a fun little experiment of putting different things together. I think this might have been the first time that I tried that. I'm not positive though. And even though there's no like color up there, I felt like it really went with the kit because of the tones and everything in the silver in the kit. So as I'm placing stuff up there, I am trimming off anything that goes above and then I'll use what I trimmed to kind of fill in other spaces if it's a big enough piece, which works really, really well. I highly suggest if you're doing anything of this nature, like you, you just keep all your leftovers until you're done with the spread. And that way, if you need to pull them in in another spot, you can. Now I'm going back and putting those little line dividers above and below that quote. And I put in a script that said self-care for my habit tracker. I believe that was from a uh, sticker guru who I'm a PR person for. So you can use my code just 15 to get 15% off. And now I'm going to work on my Monday. So I decided I wanted to to-do list at the top, but I I wanted to <laughs> I wanted to use these boxes so bad. So I went ahead and put the script, which is from Harriet Wright Designs, up there, and then I put my checklist below. And I love that her checklist are kiss cutout bows. It's so so cute. So on my to-do list there for Monday, I have lunch prep for the week. Yeah, that didn't happen. I can't remember why. <laughs> record a routine. This did happen. Um, wash sheets and towels. That also happened. And clean up the kitchen, which 
I think I got done that day. It usually gets done, so I assume so. Underneath the box there, I put in um, the fact that my pest control people come. So I have a service that comes every couple of months and just sprays outside my house for things like spiders and um, all of the other little bugs that kind of get into your house. <laughs> we have a real problem with, oh gosh, what are they called? Box elder beetles, especially in the spring and the fall. So they just spray out there for all kinds of things. After that, I went ahead and used one of the Bowstrong boxes to mark that I wanted to post my weekly spread on Instagram, and I used one of the Instagram little icons from Crafts by Towie, and below that, I believe I put in a dashboard video little icon. I can't remember if that actually went up on that day, but that was the plan. On Tuesday, I used a clean house script from Sticker Guru, and then the little icon girl is from Joy of Planning. I absolutely adore her little people and she has them in all different designs, skin tones, hair color. You can completely customize them, which is amazing. Below that, I did put in a $2 Tuesday script. This was a freebie that I got or an oops fig, I think, that I got and I just wanted to use it. So I went ahead and put that in. Megan had choir practice after school because this is when she was practicing for her solo at school. And that went really well, by the way. <laughs> and then after I took her straight from that to figure skating practice, which also went pretty well. She's going to be competing here really soon. And then I have film a sticker haul. I'm going to assume that that happened, although I'm not sure because that would have been a really long day. And then I did want to get up a pin video and I know that didn't happen. I keep on trying to juggle two channels, but really it's, I don't know that I have enough time in my schedule to do two channels. So the pin channel has kind of died. <laughs> A slow and agonizing death. <laughs> Anyhow, on Wednesday, I wanted to pick a post about washi for Washi Wednesday, and of course that didn't happen. <laughs> Megan went skating in the morning, which isn't on here, so I had to, to write it in after the fact. Um, I put in that post on YouTube. The script I got from Paper Trail Plans, and then the camera icon is from Crafts by Towie. And I thought that really, it looks really put together there. Underneath that, I went ahead and cut some florals just to kind of add a divider there. And I thought it looked really nice. Then I used a bowstrung box to put in my dentist appointment. I can't remember where the dentist um, script is from, so I'll have to look that up. But I, I want to say like letters to Apollo or something. I can't remember. Anyhow, and then I used a white deer stationary tooth there. And then I also put in my hair appointment with another bowstrung box and a Joy of Planning little girl. And the appointment sticker was from a newer shop. Um, I'll link them down below and I'll put script next to them. But these were really, really cheap. And this is their transparent matte paper. And then the quote below that says, be fearless in the pursuit of what sets your soul on fire. And then of course, Dan had his trombone lesson. And I used a white deer stationary little musical stand thing. Then on Thursday, I marked my day off or in theory, my day off with a little book and a coffee cup there from White Deer Stationery. Yeah, that didn't happen, <laughs> but I try. After that, I did mark Megan's lesson there at the bottom with a little bit of florals and the White Deer Stationery skates, which I love. And Friday, Emily had OT or occupational therapy that we went to. That's overall going really well. Um, I do... Let's see, we have a YouTube My Routines video. Um, I didn't have time is what I want down in my planner to get that done. So I must have pushed that a little bit. And then Megan had a lesson after school and it was also hockey night. So I think the girls went to hockey with my husband. I did end up using a Joy of Planning little skating girl here because I didn't want two white deer stationary ones next to each other. I don't like the way that that looks. I like the variety. 
Then on Saturday, I marked Learn to Skate because Megan is going and she's helping with the toddlers and it's been really, really good for her. So we have that. And then I have a cleaning house script there with this cute little bucket and sponge that I got from White Deer Stationery. And then on Sunday, I put in a little arrow and we had to schedule Megan's booster shot. Oh my goodness. That went over all well, but the the injection site got a little irritated and so I was worried that she had a skin infection again. <laughs> I say again because with a family of all redheads, yes, me, my husband, and all four kids have red hair, our skin is incredibly sensitive and so they are prone to getting eczema and then infections and things like that. So she had a mosquito bite a couple of years ago that got infected and I was like, seriously, a mosquito bite. But anyhow, I digress. <laughs> Then I'm just going back and filling in all of the extra things that I wanted here, like filmings and postings that I may have not gotten to, to-do list and things like that. Um, I do go back and put in my menu here. So when I'm doing my menu planning, I generally want to look at what's going on that day and how much time I have, what needs to go in the crock pot, that kind of thing. And then... I generally put down what I think is going to work. It doesn't always work. And so sometimes I have to be a little bit flexible with that. After that, I went ahead and put a to-do list here. That's just for general things that I needed to get done this week. And that's pretty much everything for this plan with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. Until next time, I'll see you guys real soon.